hey guys welcome to my youtube channel this video i'm going to show you how to copy the child records to another table this is came from one of the viewer he said i would like to know if it's possible to copy the row with the child data like reference row as well yes it's possible and i will show you how to do that i prepared one sample up here so we have here the vehicles and in the vehicles there is a related rows here this is because we use a child and parent and child uh, relationship here so if you are going to use the this uh, relationship the main i mean the parent table which is the vehicles it will automatically generate a ref rows formula here or a related services which is a column type list here so this is system generated so what we need in this uh, sample app is whenever I created a report here based on the license number of the vehicle I would like to copy the services which is in this table that is related to this vehicle so here is the child records of the vehicles and there are services here which is has the license number here so I would like to copy in this table which is the child record for reports okay let me show you the database setup so this is the vehicle setup and this is the table and the key column here is the license number and in the services the key column here is the service ID and I have this date vehicle make vehicle name and the license number so in the report it's a pretty straightforward so I have just the report ID here which is a unique ID it will automatically generated the date and a drop-down list of the vehicle number and then once I selected the vehicle number or the license number the child record uh, it will copy it from here into this table so the first thing we need to do is since we're gonna trigger this action in the report we have to review the report first report table in the report table as you uh, see there are uh, three main columns and one virtual columns because it gener uh, generate again a reference row because the license number I keep it as a reference this is for the drop down purpose as you can see here when we adding a new report the license number it's a reference type drop down if you're using this reference type drop down make sure that the call um, the table reference um, the label it's also matching with the drop down as well as you can see so I choose license number as a label because in the reports it's a license number so i wanted to save it as license number as well <clears throat> and the column name as well is license number okay and also in reference type column uh if you are using that so whatever is the key column in that table so the key column here is license number and once you choose this it will save as license number also because this is a reference type column all right so we are done uh, checking the report the report table now let's check the table where we're gonna save the child records copy so the table name is report child records and if you view the columns so we have here the uh the date the vehicle make the vehicle name license number it this is pretty similar to this table okay and however since we need to connect this table into the reports table so i wanted to connect this table into here we need to set one column as a reference type so the report id will be the reference type and the reference type will be the source table is report and we need to put a formula here so we're going to use here uh, lookup expression and max row <clears throat> so 
so we need to know the maximum the highest uh, row number in reports table so reports uh, what will be the highest row number so I'm gonna use this so okay row number so this is where so the highest row number in reports table then we're gonna put the filter condition here license number the reason why we i use license number because this is the when you're creating a report we are selecting what is the license number so this is why license number is equals to this row <clears throat> that license number we're going to close this max row expression then we're going to continue with the lookup so we need to look up in the reports what is the key column in the report that is report id and what we need to look up so we need to look up the report id so this will be the value of this column report id So there is no S, so it's only report. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we are done uh, setting up the table wherein we will copy the child records. We're going to hit save and let's proceed to the next stage. The next stage will be creating an action. The first action that we need to create is we're gonna create an action which is um, add new row to another table using value from this row and I'm gonna name this action copy or copy child record for example and we need to check where is this uh, record stays which table so in this example, it stays in service table. So we have to select the proper table. And what is the target table that you wanted to save this? So we will want to save it in the report report child record, which is, this is the table name. So we want to save it here. Okay. Then what we need here is the date. So we wanted to, so in this example, I wanted to copy the date, the vehicle make, vehicle name, license number. So this is only that I need to copy. This is depends to your table setup, yeah? So I'm gonna just go here. So the date will be the date. And vehicle make will be vehicle make. Same goes to the vehicle name, it will be <clears throat> and then we have the license number and so this is the license number so this is all the columns that i would like to copy and i would like to put it here so in this one three four so this report id in the beginning we already set up so we keep it this as a reference type and we apply a formula as well and the ID, we don't need to uh, to put it because it's an auto-generated. Uh, it's an auto-generated. I would like, if you go to the to this table, we created here a unique ID expression as an initial value. <clears throat> then the second action that we need to create is we don't need to show this. So make sure that uh, um, appearance will be do not display. The second action is we need to create a action called execute an action on the set of rows. And I'm gonna just name this the same, execute an action. <clears throat> so in this uh, settings, uh, which table you wanted to trigger the action? So we're gonna trigger this in the report in this table, okay? 
and what is the reference table so the reference table is where is the child records that saves I mean um, where do you want I mean this is the table that you're gonna copy the service I mean the child record so in this example service okay I would like to copy it here so we're gonna use this table as a reference table and we created already the first action so you have to add it there copy child records and we have to in the reference row we have to use this expression so we're gonna use the select expression here so select we need to select the child records table which is the if you go here and where is the child record uh, save it's here so we're gonna make sure that you select the key column so service ID okay so here select service service ID and what will be the the filter condition here so the filter condition is uh, license number so since I am in the drop down we are using a license number license number is equals to license number so make sure if you're using select uh, use this this row okay so this is the setup so select service ID license number is got this row that license number so it's saying here license number and able to find license number okay service ID select service service ID what is the name of the column license number it's correct so we have an error here let's uh, double check license number is equals to this row that license number let's see okay so we cannot find the license number most probably uh let me see spelling okay this one the spelling it's wrong okay so license number is equal to this row that license number it is <laughs> wait how is i think the spelling guys i got confused so this is the this is the this is the spelling or to make it easy you can also go here columns and this will be, you can insert this so the spelling here is wrong so that's mainly the reason and I'm gonna just put this here oh okay let's fix the select expression license number is equals to license number okay it's correct now the reason why uh, I put the license number here so just take note service ID if you're seeing select make sure that it, it's a key column here the first one and then what is the filter conditions here so the reason why it's license number is because when you are creating a report uh, I'm using here what is the license number okay then we are gonna just appearance and do not display then we're gonna trigger this in the form save so here in the report we are when we're adding this form we're creating this form this is the view I'm gonna insert it there in the behavior section and here I will just change this to execute an action all right now let's let's test if this work all right so here we have the Toyota Yaris there are child records in this so there are, there is an action here <clears throat> we have to delete it I think it's new okay I have to delete this okay so in this specific vehicle 98765 there are related rows here or related services here I would like to create a report for example so this is the Toyota Yaris once I save it uh, take note here this is the report 
still empty and this is the uh, the child records table that the copied child records table <laughs> let's try to save this okay and let's go to the database so here we have the report ID and this will be the as you can see it copies the uh, the uh, uh, the Riaris. as you can see it copies here okay and if you go to the app and if you go to the report there is now a related report child records here as you can see and this is the purpose of that um, of this expression here that we added as a reference type is because we wanted to connect these child records into the reports right so this is the reason why so now you can now it's copied as you can see let's try another one let's say I'm going to add this uh, we have the vehicle list here so let's say Land Cruiser 90123 so 90123 save it and then there are six records under this Land Cruiser so let's check the so this is the report it's added and then as you can see here uh, it's copied in this table and let's check how many Land Cruiser is here so I'm gonna just uh, maybe filter this uh, let's say filter okay where is the field oh, oh what I did okay there's there should be a filter here create a filter okay so the field I will just filter only the land cruiser let's see how many entries in land cruiser here so in Land Cruiser, there are one, two, three, four, five, six entries. As you can see here, it copies also here the six entries. And if you go to this table, to the app sheet, there are six records here. Okay. So this is how you you copy the uh, child records into another table. So if you learn something in this video, don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.